Welcome to demo number 10 of Earth. And um, let's just see what I'm doing here. Looks like I'm building uh, I'm building a, a SQL statement here that's going to be um, used to pull up all of the children that are in if, if I'm building as uh, I'm building this statement called add child and this add child is going to scan the database and if all the children are there if that children is in the database meaning that IP then the children is there if not add a record and I'm going to do that right now let's just watch me do that uh, this is the family database it has these tables so I gotta pull up the child IP okay and I'm going to pull that up where child IP is like what value that value is going to be this IP value right here that I wrote down earlier you didn't see me do that do that but I did I wrote this little procedure but I haven't completed the code yet for it and here it is let's just copy paste that in there now that's gonna stick in it's gonna search the database for any child that has that IP and then I'm gonna do one of these open okay and then I'm gonna go if ADLQ family dot record count is greater than or equal to one then now what this does this means that if a record was found then it's going to do something here so um, if if there is a match with that IP okay now from here but if there wasn't a match then we're going to do that right now right here and we're going to copy this so we got to insert we got to do the the edit command we're going to do the one of these or insert we're going to insert a record and then we're going to also uh, we're going to uh, edit now edit that record we're going to add we've got some values here and we're just going to stick this in here like so and we're going to call this field by name by name and this one's let's check the field again and we have um, last checked so I'm going to edit this tested v0 last checked okay last checked v0 added yes that's good to have that's going to be date time. Okay, let's just save that. Now we can go back to our over here and go um, add added dot value is equal to now. That's going to send the current time of now into the database. And then I'm just going to be lazy and copy this value here to there. And now I'm going to grab the next one, tested. Tested. And that, uh, I believe it's, I have, a <coughs> I have a string there. I have a string. I have a string is equal to, that's going to be zero. Okay. And the next one. Hmm. Okay. I've done the same thing with that. Bruce and we're going to then go over here and stick in some other goodies here. Uh, tested, added, last checked. Okay. See what default value we have set in here? Nothing. So last checked is going to be. 
uh, date and time. If you want to stick date and time too, I'm going to copy that. Yeah, it makes sense. I just thought of that. I'm going to do one of these, copy that, stick it here, and that last tested. It would be cool if my database field would stick up into here automatically. It would be cool if Delphi could actually read, read my SQL database and allow me to have a little more rapid development. I can make I can make code really quick then. Um, but what I need to do here is last checked is date time. There, that's done. Last checked actually, not tested. See that's how I forgot right I, I word screwed up. Now we're just going to but with an integrated development where Delphi is pulling up my SQL tables in this value in this area. I mean, I can. That's why I didn't. That's why I got kind of confused there. I'm not confused, but I just forgot. It was la last checked or last verified. Like what the hell? And then we're just gonna post this. I'm just gonna post it. Boom. Okay. And that should do it. And I got a lot of code has to go in here, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to end the demo. That's uh, number 10 of um, Earth Server later.